So if you're following these videos in order, and you're going to hear me say that a lot because you should be following them in order, then you'll have an understanding now on how Bitcoin is and is not a currency and how it's starting to just fit into this global economy. In this video, video number two, we're going to cover the engine that runs the vehicle, blockchain. Again, I want to stress, you might be thinking, why is this important to me? I just want to invest. Well, think a second. If blockchain runs all cryptocurrencies, and it does, and all blockchain systems are basically the same, what better way to spot a scam than to know when someone is telling you my coin is different and you know it's a pile of bullshit? Learn the technology and you'll be less of an emotional investor. So now on to blockchain technology. So what is blockchain? Blockchain is the technology that runs all cryptocurrencies. And when I say all, I mean all. Every cryptocurrency on this planet, as of November 2017, is using some variation of blockchain technology originally developed by Satoshi Nakamoto. In fact, one of the best ways to identify a scam is if they're telling you they do not use blockchain. Any cryptocurrency that tells you they're doing something special and innovative and not just business as usual, well, as usual when it pertains to the new business of blockchain, is probably lying to you. Now, to get your head around blockchain quickly, here's a simple analogy. Blockchain is to Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies what the engine is to Ford. The engine is an independent technology that Ford, Mercedes, GM, all those companies use, but they are not Ford, GM, Chevy, and Mercedes. Bitcoin is the product. Blockchain is the technology. I want to say this again, Bitcoin and blockchain are independent of each other. Why do you care? Because it means that when you hear a company saying they're in implementing blockchain technology, it doesn't mean you should run out and buy some Bitcoin because it shouldn't affect the price of Bitcoin. So now that we have a general idea of what blockchain is in a general sense, let's get a little more specific. Blockchain on a basic level is simply a series of files in which the next file in the series is partially valued by the file before it. So each file in series is tied to the last file in some way. What does this mean? It means we can place this series of files, this chain, if you will, on any computer in the world. And whether we trust that computer or not, we know because one file value affects all the files after it, that those series of files have not been modified. If those files had been modified anywhere in the chain, all the files after the modification would no longer add up to what we know they need to be. This means simply that we can trust this system to have not been tampered with quickly through a series of mathematical calculations. That's the beginning of the trustless system of Bitcoin. So now we see that the files are all connected to each other, but what's actually in the files themselves? We're drilling down from file chain to files to transactions. Inside each file is a list of transactions. In the case of Bitcoin, it's a change of who owns Bitcoin, where it was sent, who moved it forward, plus three to Sally, plus eight to Mike, plus one to Jennifer, and plus six from Andrew, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now we use a lot of fancy math to figure out how the system adds up correctly, to figure out if anything has been tampered with or changed, but otherwise that's about it. This is the basis of blockchain tech. But what else can we use this tech for? How about packages as they move between locations in the country? Maybe tax records, property ownership, uh, obviously banking records. Anything where we want to keep track of changes, we can use the blockchain system to do it with and do it in a more secure and less costly manner than we currently are. It's, it's actually really, once I finally put my head around it, I realize how amazing this technology really is. But you have to remember for an investor, this tech means nothing to Bitcoin's price. Now, lastly, let's take this blockchain system and use it to keep track of monies owned between you and the rest of the world. So now we take this blockchain and we place it on 10,000 computers across the internet. And you can see the beginnings of how Bitcoin can be decentralized and still trusted. The blockchain system is by far the biggest innovation to happen to any record keeping system since the invention of the computer itself. If you want to know a more technical answer to how the blockchain works, 
We have videos on the website, mycrypto.guru. What we're offering here is a good, solid foundation to at least give you enough knowledge so you know what questions you can ask. And obviously, as always, like I said earlier, if you have more questions, log into your account at mycrypto.guru, join the forums, engage in discussion. We're even gonna have a private and semi-private webinars, consulting sessions for those who are interested in more specific information. You can get on Facebook and join the My Crypto Guru page and just understand, like, don't feel bad. We all started here. We're here to help you just like we had help when we got started. Now, in the next video, we're gonna talk about how blockchain technology specifically applies to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. So pop on over to that, learn what you want, and then we'll see you in a bit.